Guys, we are back and I have the best EAFC Pro Clubs build for you. This striker build is a joke. So if you're starting off the game, you want to be using this exact build. Copy it. Let's get into it. We're going to play in left wing. And I know what you're thinking. It's not a striker. You lot are intelligent. But trust me, you don't need to go in the striker setup. Now, the finishing is going to be better, but it's still not that great. And I just don't think that shooting from the edge of the box or long range out until you're higher level is worth doing. So set yourself in right wing or left wing. Just trust me on that, guys. The weight, 119 pounds, and the height, 5'9". You can play around with this. You don't actually have to be 5'9". You can go 5'7". You can go a little bit taller, like Billy or any place, 5'10". It's not too important at this low level. Don't focus too much on it. I just like to stay small and a little bit lightweight until I can get a little bit more skill points and higher level. After less than 20 games, this build is already level 83. So just trust me, guys, it's worth using. I think this style of FIFA or EAFC now is going to be more passing the ball in. You can't really sprint in behind. So... Before we get into the attributes and look at where I've put them, let's focus on the play styles. A lot of you who clicked these videos in the past over the last few years will think uh, that you'll know what I'm about to say. Don't focus on just scoring goals because you're a striker. I never set myself up with the scoring or the finishing skill points too early. When you're playing in striker, you want to focus on dribbling, ball control, balance, agility, and a little bit of pace. Now, it's difficult on this game because pace, you're going to get caught by the CPUs in these low divisions. There is something you can do if you're looking on screen now. You can hold R1 and the left stick and you can get this little speed boost if you time it right and get away from the defender. That's what I've been doing and it works really well for me. But overall, sprinting through, it's difficult to do. So I haven't got anything in skill points yet in sprinting, but I have got technical and rapid as my first two. So improve sprint speed and dribbling, which is key, of course, because you want to be quick, agile, and dribbling away from the CPU defenders and ball control in technical. When I got to level 10 and I unlocked the third play style, I went with quick step. Now, obviously, we've got to get to level 25 and level 20 to unlock the next ones. We get play style plus, which is going to be huge. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Just hit that red button and you're not going to miss any of the builds. I'm going to do builds every single level so you guys can level up with me and you can see, oh, well, how was he playing with now? This is always going to be the meta. It's always going to be the best way to play clubs. So for me, guys, quick step, technical and rapid are my first three. They're just essential. Ball control and dribbling are just everything on this game. You're not going to be able to sprint in behind with the lengthy build on at a low level like you could on FIFA 23. So you've got to focus on improving your pro in other ways. And for me, that's dribbling. It's taking a touch. It's finding an easy pass and getting away from the defenders. And that is what these three are going to give you. So try them out. The Travella shot seems to always be OP as well. So guys, as I level up, I might try this power shot and I might try a few others and I'll let you know, obviously, what works. Before we get into some tips, let's get into the attributes. Now, a lot of you guys in the past have seen this flooded and I'm obviously going to get the cheetah archetype when I can get enough skill points to do so. But right now, at the beginning of the game, I've only got one or two skill points into the acceleration. Not sprint speed, because taking that first touch, getting away from the defender is more important than sprinting in behind. Because like I said, guys, the CPUs seem to be able to catch us. So there's no point wasting early skill points into sprint speed. So just a one or two in acceleration, not really essential. Now, I know what I said, right? Hypocrite, unsubscribe, uh, dislike, whatever you got to do, do it. Finishing wise, I have got three points in there, but that is just to get this weak foot four star because I find a lot of chances and striker are falling to me on that weak foot and particularly as I'm set up in left wing or right wing is so bad guys it's so bad you miss is like a lot if you've been watching our live streams so far on the channel you'll know that I've had a few stinkers so I've gone and put the four star weak foot on obviously increasing the finishing as well a little bit which is nice you can come down the left hand side and do that in shot power but I feel like finishing is more important than shot power especially as I'm not shooting from far out the way we like to play is a lot of intricate passing in and around the box to set us up for the easiest chance possible rather than shooting from long distances obviously as our pros get better you're going to see more of that on stream but right now it's going to be passing the ball around in little boxes and trying to break break down the fences and draw the ennies out. Coming into the passing in our cam build, we obviously have a lot in here, which is going to be out tomorrow on the channel. So if you want to just go ahead and subscribe, just do it. And finishing us off in this early build, is a lot of dribbling. So we got a little bit of agility, a lot of dribbling. Copy these exactly, guys. For me, I want to work my way down to the skill points in skill moves because I love a few skill moves and it helps a lot if you're playing against an any. 
If you're not playing against an any, skill moves cannot be that effective. But if you are playing against a player controlling the any slot, I think skill moves, if you're good at them, are really, really important. And I'm going to have a video on the best skill moves as well coming out soon. Let me know separately in the comment section, do you guys play with an any? Because whenever I stream, it's always a massive, it's a massive topic of discussion in the stream. A lot of people say, how are you playing with an any? That's not pro clubs. And a lot of you are like, you, of course, you have to play with an any. For me, you have to. But I want to know what you guys think. But playing out now are a few clips of just how we play and how we scored some of our goals. It seems like goalkeepers are terrible. So if you want to run in at the goalkeeper and do a little bit of skill, I just did some step overs with three star skills and I seem to walk straight through the goalkeeper, which is kind of worrying. When it comes to clubs this year, you want to be linking up with teammates, passing the ball as much as possible and drawing out defenders because it seems hard to be able to do it all on your own. I just I feel like you can't. Yeah, clubs this year is going to take some getting used to. I'm going to have all the best tips on this channel, but let's break down some of the clips in this build and I'll show you how we play. So getting the ball in and around their third and just passing it in intricate little passes and sweaty goals, we're bringing them back just like that are the best way still to score, especially at low level. I have a feeling when we get higher level, it's going to be a lot easier to get in behind and just sprint in behind, especially in the lower divisions. But right now, guys, it feels like you just have to play little parts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> And that's what I'm telling you about that weak foot. Guys, look at that right foot. How bad is that? You have to put something into your weak foot. I feel like it's just so important. And clearly, I need to work on it there. Somehow, we still end up scoring from that. We've been streaming every night. So if you haven't been tuning in, you need to make sure you subscribe to this channel. You hit that little ring notification bell if you want the notifications to your phone for when we go live. We're streaming tonight with some big names. We've got Bazinga coming through. We've got Nico or Milana on the sticks at some point and so many more names. I'm buzzing and a series will be coming soon so do not panic but yeah guys all I can say really is don't sprint too much when you're in and around the box like try and just find pockets of space don't move too much and skill moves past the goalkeeper as you've seen there and earlier in the video with the step overs are ridiculous so you can do a little ball roll fake shot step overs it feels like the goalkeepers just fall over and uh, if you can get yourself in behind your score or a penalty, it seems impossible to miss penalties. DM me, ladies, apparently. It seems impossible to miss a penalty on this game. I, I feel like the builds that I've shown you are the best. I'm pretty similar in cam as well, playing a 5-7. I'll have that video out on the channel tomorrow. So with all the best builds in CDM, centre-back, goalkeeper, comment down below what you guys want to see and tips videos are coming soon. I've got a way you can basically score every time you're in as well, which is going to be its own video on the channel very soon. But yeah, little skill moves seem to just be the way to go in the box. Intricate little passes. That's the way that we're playing the game and that's the way it seems to be working for us. On screen there are my Twitter and Instagram, World of JCC. If you want to follow on either, we're doing a giveaway tonight on the live stream on this channel for a copy of EAFC. I'm going to be doing a ton of giveaways. So follow either of them and a random follower will win a copy of EAFC for free. Or if you've already got it, you will still win the money that you've already paid. So you get the game for free. So why not do it? Like this video, subscribe for all the best pro clubs videos, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.